Hey guys, happy Saturday. I wanted to do uh, a quick video for you guys, just to explain to you where have I been. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I have been not posting on YouTube for the last, I don't know, two weeks it's been probably. It's, um, yeah, probably a couple, a couple of weeks. Anyway, I wanted to just explain to you where have I been, um, and all stuff. I'm not stopping, you know, uploading content to YouTube. Um, I will be continuing. I just have to take a momentarily, you know, momentarily, what? A break momentarily, there you go. And it was because of simply, I was getting really, really busy and overwhelmed with work. I was really focused on some things I was doing for you guys, such as updating the SEO webinar. Okay, anyway, updating the SEO webinar and you know spreading outlining that content spreading it out i was in the middle of wrapping up some um tests i run tests often and this is probably for another video but i run tests often on most of it is seo related um whether it be on etsy um, or amazon mostly um i do some things different on google but usually the effects of that take longer so i just wait for google to release announcements and i adjust some things the point is i've been working on you know wrapping up some seo tests for etsy and you know concluding my results and you know those take time because when i run a test i wait a decent amount of days i'll boy with that another time because i don't want to spend too much time talking about it so i wanted to make sure that the updates were substantial and why i did not yet update the seo webinar with SEO, you know, the way you apply it type of updates. Marmalade is updated. Um, I'll put a link in the, I'll put a link um, to that video down below of what the updates were. So you can check that out if you haven't already. And um, I had to update the webinar because of that. And so there's some more up updates coming. And then of course I'll be updating the Amazon webinar because while things are still similar on Amazon, um, I, you could see that Amazon, cosmetically looks different than my webinar. It's the exact same thing, but it's, co co you know, a cosmetically looks different. Um, so that causes a lot of confusion. People think it's an old video and I literally recorded it, put it up and the Amazon changed the next day. Again, only small differences, but it's important to show people exact things because if they're new to Amazon or not even new, but we kind of teach people something, sometimes things might get lost because they're not seeing the exact same, um, things you know on my training videos um anyway so i've been working on that um working on i mean a lot of things like ordering supplies and you know you know getting new projects done um you know off my to-do list i'm working on a new webinar coming out for you guys i've talked about it in a facebook live in the group sorry for my hair i feel like ugh. um I just have so many projects and I, and you know, in, in terms of priority, while I do, I love YouTube, I love vlogging, I love all that stuff. I felt overwhelmed and there were things I needed to get done because of not deadlines, but when, when things change, people expect updates, you know, and they know that I'm also a seller. You guys know I'm also a seller, so I can't like snap my finger, something comes out, especially when I have customer orders, I have to get them out. But, um, you know, I need to get some things done. And of course, on my e-commerce side, I had quite a list building that needed to get done. Um, I updated things on my website that, that were on my list for a long time, but I just said enough's enough, I have to update it. Um, and then a few other things. So that's where I've been. I've just been busy working. And the priority became that stuff over putting out new YouTube video content. I personally, I'm gonna wrap this up in just a minute. I personally um, have to say this. I have recently been, well, I haven't put videos out for the last couple of weeks, but prior to that, I've been putting out videos that were like helpful tips and, and all this stuff, kind of sitting up upstairs in my second office, which is awesome. But I missed my vlogging content. I know that's not as popular as in terms of views um, compared to the sit down videos where I say, you know, five tips to drive traffic to your website or blah, blah, blah. Like I get that, but, and I enjoy both, but I'm gonna make sure that when I go back to doing videos, which will be in the next 
couple days that I'm gonna do a little bit of both, you know? Cause at one point I just stopped doing vlogging and I'm like, I really miss that. But I, people don't like to watch it. I mean, people do, but it's not as popular. Um, you know, people don't have a lot of time and they wanna see things that help their business. And, and that's that. So of course the vlog type things of me working and things like that won't be as popular. But I will tell you this, um, if you do watch it, you'll always find that I always put helpful advice within those vlogs. It's not just me doing my job and that's it. If you read between the lines or not like look between the lines, you'll hear bits and pieces of my work day that really you could apply to your, to your own work. So I like to think that the vlogs are also very helpful if you pay attention. And I know many people agree with that because they've told me. But I'm gonna mix it up. So I'm gonna get back um, to doing it. I, at one point, had a strategy where I would only put content on YouTube if it was you know, SEO friendly, if people search for it, but that became overwhelming. You know, I started YouTube, obviously, as I always, as I started Handmade Mastermind to do it for, you know, to do it for like fun and help people, etc. And it turned into a job when I was doing content that people were searching for only. And while that's really important because you can't make things people don't want to look at, I have to do a little bit of both, you know? So I had to also step away and figure out what I really wanted from it. You know, some of my videos, um, as you could tell, they're monetized. I might refer to comments within the description, um, either for other content or for affiliate links. That helps bring in some chump change um, to help support me, which is awesome. I appreciate it. But I certainly don't have, I don't want to make YouTube into a strategy where it creates me so much money that it becomes a full-time job because I like video. Like you guys know I do Facebook Lives, I do, I do, I, I'll do all the stuff. And I don't want it to turn into a job where all I'm caring about is how much AdSense I got or how much affiliate income I got because then it, it won't feel, I don't know, I just don't like it. So, so I just decided that I'm gonna continue doing YouTube for the fun of it and in between I help people with it and I think that's just fine. And of course, if you guys click I mean, obviously, if you like watch the ads on here, I don't know exactly how it works, but I think if you watch it, a certain amount of people watch it or click on an ad, I get paid for it, uh, a small amount, but something like that. Or if you continue to um, use the affiliate links that I recommend in the description below, that always helps me, but I'm not gonna be focusing on it. You know, I'll mention it here and there when appropriate, but it's not gonna be a big focus. Otherwise, it just will, you know what I'm saying? I won't feel happy to create content. And that's not what I want, you know? When I started Handmade Mastermind, just a side note, I did a fun edit to help people. Eventually it became such a high demand, I had to charge because it was taking away time for my e-commerce business. And it still does take away time. Um, and of course I charge for my classes and stuff. But I do certain strategies with it that makes it not feel like work. And I do that on purpose because I don't want Handmade Mastermind to feel like uh, a job and not for fun. I, I love to help people. So that's why I don't have certain things in place for Handmade Mastermind that would feel more well thought out and more strategic is because I wanna treat it like, like something I do for fun that helps people. I don't, know, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Hope it does, it makes sense to me. Anyway, I just want to wrap this up and tell you thank you for watching and just want to explain to you where have I been. Um, it's the weekend, it's Labor Day weekend. I'm probably gonna upload this immediately and post it just so you know where I've been. Um, of course, if you're in my Facebook group, you see me every Tuesday, so that's cool. I'm always around there providing as much as I can and content for you guys every Tuesday. And if you're not in my group, make sure you click the link down below to join my group, that'd be awesome. Um, and that's it, but I'll be back to vlogging and all that stuff in the next few days. Okay guys, see you later, bye.